Local councils don't always get it right and these homeowners think theirs has completely lost the plot. It's looking to rezone their quiet neighbourhood into an industrial eyesore. They've had enough and say they're taking a stand for all of us. We've got a lovely street and we don't need it wrecked. Phillip Street looks like any other suburban Aussie street, but it has some vacant land and council is looking at rezoning it from residential to industrial. Give it five years, you could have a concrete works or anything. Ah, oh, the trucks at night. Around Australia, people are being affected by development. The price of progress is now being questioned. I don't want the value of my home to go down when I want to sell it. At number seven, Betty spends most of her days in the bedroom, catching the breeze. I've been here most of my life. Is it quiet? It's not, not what you call noisy. <laughs> <laughs> you right, Mum? Occasionally, the 88-year-old ventures into the lounge room with daughter Georgie, who tells us Mum's life will change so jobs can be created. Two jobs. I'm not joking. That's what he said. Two, maybe four. And those possible jobs could cost everyone in the street hundreds of thousands of dollars in property values, says the local estate agent. It will have an effect. I mean, it could be 20 or 30 per cent or something like that. Phillip Street went into meltdown the day that letter from council arrived with news of a proposed rezoning so Hamish might build a diesel mechanic workshop for trucks and other vehicles. It has got quite a few residents of this street upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I understand that. Now, you imagine if you've got industry over there, fumes, dust, all of that, she's going to have to become a lock-in. I put the street in. You put the street in? <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. The first resident has now become the unlikely figurehead in Betty's battle for Phillip Street. It's hard for her to fight battles now, so I think there's a lot of people who are backing Betty. Liz Flaherty runs the local online news outlet in the town of Scone. Betty's an icon, you know, not only for Scone, but for Australia, the first female horse trainer registered in the world. Scone, in the upper Hunter Valley in New South Wales, is the second largest thoroughbred breeding area in the world. Winx has retired here. What horse is that one there? That's the stallion I had. Betty is not fully that? aware what of what's horse? going down in her street, but her memory is sharp when it comes to her horses. Caulfield Cup in fourth. Really? You got a fourth in the Caulfield Cup? Yeah. Oh. How did you... Beat no at that much. And how she met her husband. Now, is that Archie up there? Yes. So when did you meet him? When you were young, at very young? At the shop. At the shop? Yeah. What attracted you to Archie? He had a good looking bum. <laughs> a good looking bum? <laughs> and you thought, don't mind a bit of that. <laughs> Looked all right. Looked all right? And he said, no, no. Archie has gone now. And daughter Georgie. Looking out there is her life. And fears for her mum and the home that is Betty's life. You know how the big trucks, the noises they make when they're starting up and brakes pulling off, if that happens, I actually don't know what I'm going to do with my mum because I don't think she'll be able to live there anymore, really, you oh. know. Anyway, we'll see, mum, we'll see. There is already light industrial a block away from Phillip Street. No industrial encroachment. Uh, yeah, why, why allow it to get encroached further? And estate agent Pat Gleeson says there's also a new second industrial park in the town. Plenty of land. And it's all got the infrastructure. There's lighting, there's roads, there's guttering, there's vacant blocks. Why do you need to take away the residential ones? Well, of course, you don't need to take away two or three residential blocks. The mayor said to me last night that something like they, they give priority to developers in a, in a residential area where people have got their houses. And those jobs would still be the same jobs if they were in some other block. That's exactly right. I just don't understand what the council's thinking. Council wasn't keen to talk about the rezoning while in the submission stage. General Manager Steve McDonald would only say... When everyone who wants to make a comment to make that comment, it doesn't matter how big, how small, OK, it's all important to us. Including all those people in Phillip Street? All those people in Phillip Street, all those people in Scone. Jan will be writing... We need our peace and serenity. I've got my little scooter and I need to be able to get up and down this street. 
It's bad enough the street has no footpath. Now she'll have to dodge the trucks. Yeah, not happy Jan. While Emmy and her family will be financially ruined. If it goes ahead, I don't think it'll sell. That's devastating news yeah, for you, Emmy. Yeah, it is. After subdividing their land and building a home to help them build behind. Why here? It's just like, this is residential. It is zone yeah. residential. It would have been far easier and less grief for you if you'd just gone out to the industrial area. Well, uh, it's really the location here. I mean, Hamish Laportrench, who bought the residential blocks, hoping to rezone for his diesel workshop, says he wasn't keen on the existing industrial park. And out there, you don't have a lot of local townspeople passing through. and We'd miss out on a lot of business. You know, it's a, it's a prime location here. And assures residents he won't sell if it is rezoned or operate in the middle of the night. But it's all cold comfort for those in Phillips Street. We go for walks quite often down this road and go to the park, which is just around the corner, and we won't be able to do that. This is very quiet here. Well, let's hope it <coughs> remains that way, eh? <laughs> this is our castle, our home, and we don't need it taken away from us. No. We pay, we've paid our taxes, we've paid our rates, and we're good, honest, genuine country people and we don't get to stand up very often, but when we do, look out. Can't blame them for fighting. Council will make a decision next month. The residents will appeal if it's approved.